This is Maria of change-diapers.com and today I'm going to show you the Bitty Tuto uh, one size diaper which is made by Itty Bitty. Itty Bitty is an Australian company and their diapers are coming to the US in March of 2011. I was lucky enough to get to try the one size diaper and also the Bitty Delish sized all-in-one diaper. And the reason I decided to do um, a video of the Bitty Tuto is that it comes with three soakers which can be a little bit overwhelming, um, at least to me, when I opened the package and I saw all these soakers. Now the instructions do say that they are color coded and they are, but it still seemed to be a little bit of a learning curve for me. I had to play around with them a little while um, to figure it out. So I wanted to demonstrate how you can use each of those soakers. The Bitty Tuto is a one size diaper. It has small or newborn settings, medium, large, and extra large settings. It has a hip snap for really small babies so you don't get any wing droop and this really unique cover that covers that up when it's not in use so it doesn't dig into the baby's skin. It also has snap overlap so that you can really make this fit on little ones. It has a waterproof layer so you don't need a cover and it has a really soft minky outer. It also has this really unique inner gusset all the way around the back and the side so that you can really contain those messy diapers. So when you're using this on the newborn setting, um, which they also refer to as the small setting, you can either use this long soaker folded or you can use the short soaker with the mini soaker. So I'm going to demonstrate both of those. Now they are color coded so on my long soaker here it has yellow snaps and the yellow snaps snap to the yellow snaps in the back of the diaper. And it has blue snaps on the back so that you can adjust the size. So you're going to get it as small as it'll go for your smaller newborn setting or medium, large, and extra large. So I'd snap it to the small setting to fit my rise if I'm using it on the newborn setting and I'll tuck it into the gussets. If you have a really heavy water which sometimes they are even as newborns, you can go ahead and use the mini soaker and it has red snaps so it just snaps right to the red snaps and there's a blue snap on the back so that you have a replacement for the one that you're covering up so you just go ahead and snap that in and just like we did before I'm going to snap the blue snap to the smallest setting now the other option is to use the short soaker so I'm going to take the long soaker out And the short soaker has purple snaps, and the purple snaps are in the front of the diaper. So I'll go ahead and snap purple to purple. And then again, I can take my mini soaker and attach red to red. And use it that way. When I'm using it on the medium, large, or extra large setting, I can customize my absorbency depending on whether I have a boy or a girl and want the absorbency in the middle or in the front. So if I have a girl, which I do not, well I do, but not in diapers, I'm going to go ahead and snap my large soaker, long soaker, yellow to yellow and tuck it in. Just like we did with the newborn setting, then I'll take the red to red for the mini soaker and I'll just snap it to my medium, large, or extra large setting. And that puts the majority of your absorbency in the middle. Alternately, you can use the long soaker in the back and also the other shape soaker, the smaller soaker, snapped in the front. 
So you've got one snapped in the front and one snapped in the back. And you could remove the mini soaker, you could leave it in if you had a really heavy water. If you have a boy, you can either use the two shape soakers, snapped at either end, just like we did here, adding that extra mini soaker in if you really need to, or you can actually use it with just the long soaker, but you're going to reverse it so that your absorbency is towards the front. So in this case, I'm going to ignore the color code and I'm going to snap yellow to purple. And that puts more of my absorbency towards the front of the diaper. So watch out for Itty Bitty at U.S. Retailers in March of 2011. And be sure to check out the entire post at change-diapers.com for more photos of this diaper and the Bitty Delish as well as action shots of the diaper on my son. Thanks for watching.